This series is sponsored by Omni Hockey, where hockey is for all, and we welcome you to be a part of it. Omni Hockey is a place to unite the hockey community, share in collaborative conversations, and empower those involved with connections, tools, and resources. Well, I usually try to get here about 6.30, quarter to seven, and uh, I come in and check for pucks, make sure there's no pucks on the ice and pick up what is on the ice, take the nets off, and I will uh, go back over and uh, get the Zamboni, and come back over and do the flooding. Well, we started this rink in uh, 2002, so I guess I've been probably the main caretaker since then. I did a rough calculation. We figure it takes about 150 hours, 200 hours a winter starting it up and, and then flood maintaining it every day, so. Pretty well every night, this rink's got 10 or 15 people on it, so. And it's all ages, right? From kids learning how to skate to adults that are retired and they come in the mornings and go for a skate. It's a very busy spot, even when it's minus 30 out, it's not very often you don't see somebody out here skating, so it, uh, it gets used a lot. When I was little, my mother used to go out in the evenings and uh, flood a rink for me, and she spent a lot of hours out there doing that. And uh, I guess that's kind of where I felt I should give back. Um, I didn't, really didn't have any experience with it. I was on the committee when we decided that we should build this outdoor rink, so I just kind of got involved that way and just kind of took over the caretaking of it. I've got three or four guides that help out running the Zamboni and, and help doing the caretaking, so it's, it's pretty good. <laughs> Works pretty good. Mooseman's a hockey town and always has been. I think the year was 1882. So Mooseman's on the CP tracks, which was the main way for travel back then. And they had an English fella that moved here. Um, his name was Rossiter, his last name was Rossiter. And he ran the Grodner Hotel and he would have other Englishmen come over. He had the idea to turn a slough that was outside the Grodner Hotel in 1882 into a, uh, an outdoor skating rink. So he, he wouldn't have had the boards, but he flooded it. He did all that and had it all trained up. It grew to the point where we would, we would later become the first two indoor rinks in all of Western Canada. I'm the rec director in town. I've been here almost 35 years now, but I have been involved in hockey since I was that high. But I mean, I grew up, where I grew up, it was no different. We had a, we actually uh, skated on a pond 
And uh, so the, outdoor skating for me has always been, that's what makes you feel like a kid. And there's no one telling you to do circles and there's no one telling you to pass the pockets, just go out and get a puck and shoot it and play. So it's important. Outdoor hockey is fantastic for the kids, for kids development as well. It makes them strong, strong skaters. Kids learn to skate and they learn to shoot and they're not worried about where they're supposed to stand or where they're supposed to go or where they're supposed to be watching or they're not worried about the score. It's so usually, it's funny, you can play outdoor hockey for four hours and it's always last goal win. So you can, you know, it, it doesn't matter, you know, what the score is. And you see fantastic kids, skaters that, you know, grew up on outdoor rinks. It's not, the ice isn't obviously quite as pristine. So it takes a little bit of effort to skate. You shoot a million pucks in a day. Um, so yeah, it develops players. It's just, it's, it's about being a kid, right? So there's no, like I said, there's no score. There's no, no, at the end, no one knows who won or lost. It's last goal and go in and come back the next day. You can kind of just push it if you want. Gets a little windy around the far corner. My name is Hadley and that's my dad. And we like skating together and it's a fun opportunity for me and my dad and what it gives us the time to have fun together and we teach each other something new every day and it gives us the opportunity for freedom because it means a lot to me and my dad skating and we love skating together. And we love skating for fun because you aren't skating to win. Always you're skating to have fun. And when you have fun, that's all that matters. So the outdoor rink that we have is very important to the community. Any kids that even maybe not aren't involved in minor hockey on a full-time basis can come out and play. Like my daughter, you could ask her pretty much any time of the day and she'd love to come here and skate. Just not even just the rink, but I mean, they've got this skating oval that's, you see lots of kids out here, kids, parents, figure skaters. It's, yeah, it's great. I like playing hockey. It gives me the opportunity and it, and I never tired because the air that surrounds me never get, lets me go tired because the air that we breathe in keeps us um, breathing and it keeps us have, it gives us our energy we need. It's always going to be fun no matter how long. Uh, this will be my 21st winter. No two years are the same. It depends, depends in the fall how cold out it is or how much snow we have. 
Uh, ideally, if we can have a couple inches of snow when I first start flooding, that freezes up and gives you a bit of a base. You just gotta play with whatever mother nature gives you. Why do you do it? I just enjoy being out here and helping out. It just it, uh, gives me some fresh air in the mornings and It uh, gets a little tricky if we get snow overnight because then you can't find the pucks. So <laughs> hopefully they uh, pick the pucks and stuff up when they leave at night. You know, sometimes I have to do a reality check and say, Jesus is an outdoor rink. It's not, <laughs> it's not supposed to be perfect. So. so, but for the most part, it goes pretty good. you know, the kids out enjoying it and, and even the adults that come, it's, it gives them a place to get some exercise. And I, I just think the fresh air is good for everybody and getting out and enjoying, enjoying yourself and, and uh, getting some exercise. So yeah, it's pretty good memories. This series is sponsored by Omni Hockey, where hockey is for all, and we welcome you to be a part of it. Omni Hockey is a place to unite the hockey community, share in collaborative conversations, and empower those involved with connections, tools, and resources.